Spain's original coastline FM on 97.6. On the line now, we've got James Bryce from the Olive Press in Ronda. Good morning to you, James. Good morning, Bernard. And what's in the paper this week? Um, well, we've got we've got some good stories this week, Bernard. The, um, one of them um, it concerns a, a British couple who live in Coen. Um, some expats there. They uh, they bought a, a house about six years ago. Um, sort of dream home, you know, retired down here. Um, all everything was fine, perfect setting, and everything. They're really content with the situation. Um, but they, unfortunately, they've just um, recently discovered that um, right in their the beautiful view that they've got from their um, from their villa is about to be ruined by a 16 million euro recycling plant um, that's going to be built on greenbelt land right in front of their um, where they where their home is. Um, the, uh, basically, they've had no explanation whatsoever, you know, no apology or from town hall um, about the fact that it's on Greenbelt land. Um, the, the thing that's particularly galling about this is that they were told when they bought their, their property that um, they weren't going to be in a position to make any um, alterations to it because it was non-urbanisable land. Um, so it seems in this case that it's very much uh, one case for uh, for some people and, uh, and uh, a different situation for the others. Uh, so it's a particularly um, horrible situation for them. What, what's the sort of area of coin that's happening at? Um, well, uh, if I'm honest, I'm not sure exactly where it is. It, um, it looks as if it's, um, from what I can gather, the Lahara Valley. Um, so it's quite, um, you know, like the countryside just um, in the immediate vicinity of Coen. Uh, town itself. Okay. So it's a lovely area around there, lots of, you know, rolling hills and uh, mountain views and uh, obviously not too far from the coast, so it's a really idyllic spot and it's uh, a, a, a travesty really if, it, if the view was to be ruined uh, in such a way. Sure. I mean, obviously recycling plants, they, they serve a purpose and a fantastic uh, thing, you know, to, uh, in terms of, sort of living sustainably and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, it, it seems a shame that it's, uh, it should be built on greenfield land, especially when there's so many sites, you know, brownfield sites that uh, are disused and derelict industrial land and that kind of thing. You, you would imagine that uh, there's uh, more viable options for, for something of that, of that scale and nature. Indeed. And other stories? Um, we've got uh, a slightly more uh, upbeat one about uh, a, a British couple who were on holiday on the Costa del Sol. I think they were down in Manilva. And uh, they stumbled across um, a bag which was uh, being left on a on a bench or you know along the promenade or something, and uh, it contained uh, four thousand euros in uh, all in fifty euro notes. So um, I'm sure for for many of us, a discovery like that would have uh, left some serious um, ethical questions um, about what the what the best course of action for that uh, would be. And I'm sure uh, many many people, myself included, would probably be sorely tempted by the idea of a luxury holiday or a, you know, a nice, uh, a nice deposit on something. But, uh, but credit to this couple, they they did uh, the right thing. They they went to the police station uh, and handed it in. Uh, they uh, they didn't even leave their names or any details. They just literally handed it in, explained that they'd found it, and uh, and off they went, uh, never to be seen again. And uh, the uh, the bag, well, the, the bag's owner was um, uh, traced by the police, uh, thankfully. Through uh, bank statements and whatnot that were uh, that were also in the back, so uh, a happy ending. Oh, that's good. Good news for a change. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice to uh, have a slightly more upbeat uh, thing with all the uh, all the depressing news that we uh, that we hear about in Spain at the moment. So it's uh, it's nice to have something uh, a little bit more upbeat like that. That's fine. And the last story? Um, well, we've got one um, on the uh, on the back page, sort of uh, as uh, as papers tend to do. We've uh, sort of gone with a slightly more sporty. Uh, Sporty end of the scale. Um, there's a, a Scottish uh, schoolgirl. Uh, she's 10 years old, and um, she was uh, on holiday with her family um, down in, uh, I think she was in Mercia, and she's basically been scouted um, during a football tournament that she was taking part in. Just purely, the parents entered her just to keep her from uh, getting bored while while she was on holiday. And um, she's been scouted by uh, Italian club AC Milan, no less. Uh, and they've invited her along to uh, to go and take part in a in a tournament and a training camp with them. Um, so it's a fantastic opportunity for her. Um, she's actually the the first girl that they've invited. It's usually obviously 
uh, dominated by uh, by boys. So uh, she'll be taking part with uh, some uh, uh, very ta- talented uh, youngsters from across Europe. So uh, good luck to her. Let's hope she does well. Indeed so. And um, the Olive Press came out uh, Wednesday, was it? Uh, it came out on Wednesday, yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. And so, on the fr- uh, front page, it's got In the Doghouse. That's your big story this week. That's right, yep. That's the main one for people to look out for. And uh, obviously they can uh, uh, read the um, online edition uh, on uh, the olivepress.es if they're unable to uh, to pick up um, a, a hard copy um, when they're out and about. So um, it's, uh, hopefully uh, we like to think it's a good read. <laughs> I'll let our listeners decide for that as well. <laughs> Pick up a copy of the Olive Press where you get uh, free English-speaking newspapers all along the Costa del Sol. James, it's been great talking to you. Have a good weekend. Yep, you too, Bernard. And take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now. Bye. Coastline FM.